Nigeria has witnessed tremendous changes over the years. From the pre-colonial era to colonial times and into the post-colonial period, these changes and growth are attributed to the hard work of our leaders, our fallen heroes who lay down their lives to see Nigeria become better. Leaders like Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa and many other patriotic heroes of the early and mid-90s fought for the independence we enjoy today. Sadly, many of their efforts are long forgotten. It is crucial for us as Nigerians to remind ourselves of these individuals as this serves not only as a memorial, but also as a path to follow. Capital Power TV took a trip to the busy street of Bauchi State, Northern Nigeria, to visit the tomb of Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa. Bauchi State, known for its picturesque landscapes and vibrant communities, is home to the tomb of Nigeria's first and only Prime Minister, Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa. His legacy is deeply etched in the annals of Nigerian history. Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa was Nigeria's first and only Prime Minister, serving before and after Nigeria's independence from Great Britain in 1960. Born in December 1912 in Bauchi State, I wish to make our position plain beyond any matter of doubt as regards the African continent. We in Nigeria appreciate the advantages which the size of our country and of its population give us, but we have absolutely no aggressive intentions. We shall never impose ourselves upon any other country and shall treat every African territory, big or small, as our equal, because we honestly feel that it is only on that basis of equality that peace can be maintained in our continent. Balewa received his primary education in Tafawa Balewa from 1922 to 1925. He attended Bauchi Middle School from 1925 to 1928 and later Castina Teachers Training College from 1928 to 1933, where he earned his teaching certification. After graduation, Balewa returned to Bauchi Middle School as a teacher where he taught English. Balewa entered politics after returning to Nigeria in 1946. He was elected to the Northern House of Assembly in 1955. He was appointed Federal Minister of Works and Transport by Nigeria's colonial governor, Sir James Wilson Robertson, when Nigeria was granted self-governance in 1957. Balewa became Prime Minister in January 1960. As Prime Minister, Balewa helped shape Nigeria's early foreign policy. In 1960, he played a crucial role in negotiating a settlement during the Congo Civil War. When we hear the world crying out for peace, we may receive the inspiration to deal with these intractable problems and be able really to devote all our resources to the advancement of mankind by applying those eternal truths which will inevitably persist long after we ourselves are utterly forgotten. He worked to develop Nigeria's transport systems, building ports, river transport systems and railways. Balewa led his government in protesting the Sheikh Vili massacre in South Africa and unsuccessfully attempted to persuade other British Commonwealth nations to expel South Africa due to its apartheid policies. He was also a key figure in the formation of the Organization of African Unity, OAU. Balewa was overthrown and murdered in a military coup on January 15, 1966 
with many other leaders, including his companion, Sir Ahmed Bello. The circumstances of his death remain unresolved. His body was discovered at a roadside near Lagos six days after he was ousted. In the heart of Bauchi lies the tomb of Sir Abu Bakr Tafawa Balewa, built to honor this great hero. This is the actual great. He was born on 3rd December 1912 and died on 15 January 1966. He left behind 19 children and three wives. All of his wives died among the children, four died remaining, 15 are still alive. The tomb was opened as a national monument on August 29, 1999. Balewa's tomb is not just a resting place. It's a symbol of the sacrifices made for Nigeria's independence. The different colors on the wall shows the different ethnic groups that we have in the country. No Nigeria was blessed with so many languages. There are 360, that's the identified ones. But they show how the late uh, Prime Minister unite them and rule without showing any tribalism. You know, during their time, I saw prepared the Northerners and the Houses. Aolo, Yoruba, Azikwe, the Igbos. But him, he stands as a neutral. He unites us as one. He didn't have that sentiment of tribalism. And the top was remain on Ruby in order to show how open mindedness the late Prime Minister was. It serves as a reminder of the ideals he stood for unity, peace, and progress. Satafawa Balewa was a man who rose from humble beginnings to become Nigeria's first Prime Minister. He served selflessly and unlike many politicians, he died in office with just a house and a piece of land as his only property. As we reflect on the memories of this great hero, we must remember that many have lost their lives fighting for Nigeria's freedom. Thus serving as a call to us and a footprint that other politicians must follow. We must uphold patriotism over personal gain. The Nigeria we see today is the outcome of people's sweat, blood and hard work. And we must not let them down. May the spirit of unity and progress guide us all. May his legacy continue to inspire us all. Long live Nigeria.